So I wanted to make a few comments about what I did on my, well, if you pay attention to what I mention on Twitter, usually I say old Twitter, my new Twitter, which is actually my first Twitter, um, but it's the one that I still have the password to, so that's what I use, and um, the last thing that I did on there was I asked uh, Elon Musk a few questions, and I posed him a question about a native resident of the Netherlands that uh, I feel is implicated in uh, a targeting process. Uh, seemingly, now I will not speak for her symbol, uh, the way she interprets symbolism and the way she uh, expresses um, her religious, spiritual um, perspectives, but, um, it's enough to raise a red flag for me, and as you see with the title of this video, uh, she was indeed the one, uh, that I met <clears throat> in, uh, my time travel kind of experiences, and, um, It was um, a bit of a compromise that created a little bit of a analemma <clears throat> that uh, I successfully, um, well, <laughs> we'll say, you know, I made the figure eight with instead of full circle because. That's what the Leviathan symbol means to me personally. Now, I'm going to leave it at that. It's a very personal thing to me. And I've always liked the look of the symbol. You know, as I uh, disclosed a private message from me about what I thought about Nazi symbolism. I mean, not all of it in, uh, in hindsight in a way, but uh, just naturally as a child or uh, in, a, in a more immature mind. Uh, it just seems like uh, usually when I like something, it's it's something that I fall into alignment with, even if it is a little inverted, and I don't notice it at first. Like it's still pretty much the same thing, you know. If you'd argue the swastika during that time was uh, inverted, twisted in a bad way, <clears throat> it's up to you, right? Um, but you know. I did call her my beloved, and uh, truly, it's just uh, just an ominous experience, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, you don't see uh, us together, and you don't see anything on Facebook implying that necessarily. But uh, seemingly, my initials are on the new album, and, you know, I'll let her speak for herself on anything else. You know, but that's an experience that I did have. I'm not really going to go into again. Um, we seemingly were on opposing ends because, um, as I said, it's like uh, imagine an alternate universe with the Baphomet as uh, like a nemesis project of the Umbrella Corporation, which is not Templar Templar symbol. You can't deny it. And uh, from her experience, she had like a mixture of um, gnosis and uh, memory or something. Of, well, that's you, but it's not, but I'm confused. So we have to figure this out. It's going to be hard to figure it out because that thing, <clears throat> that thing uh, destroyed everything in not a good way, not a good reset if resets were ever necessary. And it mockingly stood at the front of my cell at the very end of it. And I didn't see the face of it or anything. I just saw the hoofs at the bottom. Like, I, I could hear, like, very robotic um, marching or stomping, whatever it is. It was pretty eerie, you know. And it just, like, self-destructed, whatever. Not blowed up, but, you know, just shut down right in front of me. And many times in those experiences of... Uh, 
I would just stay in the cell, like on the Unforgiven music video from Metallica, until uh, like the time dissolved, basically. I don't know. I, just, I, I never really, I don't think I ever saw myself get old, really. Um, I sure would feel like it, though. <laughs> but I'm not going to go into all that again. It's just part of, um, um, it's just not something I'm going to get into again right now. Um, because this is about her and what I did. But that's the whole thing with Elon, though, is that, okay, so you're allegedly a shot caller, um, and most importantly, you want to put on the full armor of Baphomet. Uh, again, I, I don't I don't even want to say that because I'd like for him to just express himself. It's not wise, um, and it's not appropriate to ever speak for people like that necessarily. Because um, I think that's kind of the moral if he was wise himself, the moral would be, <clears throat> do you think I would really willingly play out my own script in the Bible if I was a false prophet? I think that's what he would say if he had autonomy himself. Is this the dilemma? Are these guys robots and just going to follow through with it? Or do they know a little something and it's a little tricky? I think it's a little mixture of both. Um, and, you know, I expressed that in my last video quite thoroughly with the process of why uh, things were vague in uh, terms of what would happen after the post millennial reign period. Must be a little bit of a chess game going on. And uh, we're certainly past a, a lot of that now since the 8th of August. And uh, basically, that's all I'm asking is how are you going to call yourself? A rich white man, you know, and you have all that going on in the Netherlands, and um, just look. There's no doubt that the expression, of the freedom of expression on Twitter is just completely different from how it was. And of course, uh, I've been uh, <laughs> tooting my horn a bit about how um, my my surname. My mother's side is uh, scrambled. Um, if you replace the V with a W, it would be Twitter. So, you get Trivet and Twitter, you know, see what I mean? And, yes, X means a lot to me. Um, must have been the cat, if you heard that, I don't know. But, anyway, X means a lot to me. And, uh... You know, I said I couldn't write after a certain point after I got that stupid shot in Vega. <sighs> um, in court. Um, when I had to sign, I signed X. Which was nudged and suggested to me um, by the attorney or whatever. Because I was just like a vegetable. I couldn't even say anything. And he just kind of, whether he knew it was going on or not, I don't know. But, you know, he nudged to say, you know, just, just, you can sign anything you want. You know, you just X or whatever. That's, that's how he said it, basically. He said X. Um, and, um, I just gave him to suggestion there and did that. So, there's that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, when it comes to Lucifer and these names... It's, it's interchangeable. Uh, perhaps his deserves to be desecrated. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I won't argue with a lot of that, but, um, the, 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 the huge moral to this is that whatever happens next, right? <clears throat> It was important to know that, you know, objective truth and what you just, there's things that have happened that matter and you cannot get yourself lost in mystery and just babble basically. Now it's empowering and it's a little more empowering than objective sometimes. I certainly got lost in it myself in my youth and it all came back full circle into the objective 
but um, still, that's that was the thing. Is that I, I would speak for myself? Is that you know I, I got too lost in the mystery instead of um, the concrete elements of race and uh, just what you know what what credit belongs to who basically and what morally matters most what makes sense and all these things I will not ramble about in this in this video but uh, yeah I mean that that's it though I mean anybody that looks at my near Twitter which I may or may not link because I'm keeping that kind of separate right now just for people that find it that's fine I don't care it's uh people that wonder about the name it's actually uh my musical project idea uh, not my first but uh, my second and it, it's it's a you know it took a long time for me to think of I mean I get really deep about names <laughs> and uh, I was like yeah this this is it right here um, so if you know my musical project name which I've revealed on my Facebook and on my uh, other YouTube which is it's kind of for fun, if anybody knows that one. Um, you don't know the name. And I may link it in the description anyway. I, I'm, I'm being vague because I don't really know right now if I'm going to link it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if... if that's the whole thing. He's, he's, putting on, he's putting on the armor of things that I know about. And he is doing some good things. But he's dealing with these implications. And, like... Half the time, he seems like he's following through with it. And half the time, it seems like he legitimately resists it. So that's why I throw it at him like that. Last thing I want to say about... Uh, <clears throat> Miss Bathory here. Well, look. I'll tell you something that really provoked me. Um... We don't need to be in a relationship for me to be provoked by this. I'd be provoked um, seeing anybody go through this. Um, but especially a female, because it's just disgusting. Like, um, a recent interview. And if I come off hostile, I don't care. Good. Uh, I'm uh, granting her a wish about making metal offensive again. Well, sure, sure we will. <laughs> Sure, because these journalists, you know, they these guys have been so. I can't even remember this. This old blog spot had a really good uh, piece about this. These journalists, like when the last Dioclation album came out, or. Um, yeah, it's the last album, I guess. The other one's an EP or whatever, but... Uh, they they weren't, you know, overtly woke in the beginning, but I think they just point out, like, you see how they call themselves Metal Sucks? Yeah, they tell you, and just like these... You know, like the last video I made with Aurora and all that stuff, Bone Collector and the, uh, the clues they leave in movies and stuff... Yeah, these, these guys have a... They have to tell you in their game. These nerds, these nasally motherfuckers tell you exactly what they're doing. Um, now, I'm not going to say that you deserve it or not if you don't figure it out, but that's what they think you deserve, right? So that's good to remember. As if you have any kind of hellish recall recollections of a past life and stuff and recycling these are the people that did this that's what that means and um i used to look at metal suck stuff but not not and really read what they were saying they just had some cool videos sometimes and stuff like i remember this badass um syl i can't remember the song right now i think maybe it was called syl and all they have was a self-titled 
something like that. Yeah, I mean, um, sorry, I haven't listened to him in a really long time, but, you know, it, I go off and on binges with him, but, yeah, you know, around 2010, 2012, you know, things get more yuppie and then turn woke. They showed their, they, they showed their little fangs, those little rodent fangs and, uh, you know, people's minds been softened in this, um, somehow information age, dark age period. And they're the mouse that, they're the mice that roared in this situation. And, um, let me just cut to the chase. You know how people are. You know how woke metal is now with a lot of people. It's disgusting, and that could never happen without some kind of manipulation of a frequency. They've definitely done something to people, uh, you know, more than just uh, genetically modified foods and stuff. Uh, they had to use some kind of airwave technology and some stuff, you know what I mean? And there's people that emit frequencies. It, you know, there's, there's people that are fucked up and you don't want to be around. Um, I've, I've tried to illustrate that really clearly. These identity thieves and these just dark people that don't contribute to anything or it's such a service to self, it's just disgusting black hole, you know. It's not, it's not a strife worth looking at and dealing with. It's just absolute obliteration and, um, let me cut to the chase here about her. Uh, I think it was a Finnish uh, website or something interviewing her. And, well, some, well, I say I don't care if people think I'm exploding for no reason. Because they might not understand what I see. And maybe in truth, the intention wasn't to really provoke, and they could have been on her side in a way. It doesn't matter. I could tell she's provoked because how are you going to question a female like that? And you see, sometimes these woke people, they don't get off. Um, how should I say this? They don't start to explode about something and attack somebody until the journalist or whatever tells them to, or they give them their own dog whistle. Or they're always interpreted that way. Oh, that's offensive. So they don't even, these people don't even know what offensive is until, you know, the robot is programmed for it, basically. And that's what I'm saying. You just saw France about Murnau. And these white, these, these, all these Western European countries and stuff, in America as well, just everywhere, is dealing with a bombardment of uh, anti white attacks and stuff. And what kind of, I don't care if you're fallen angel, Jewish, whatever the fuck you are, why would you be that vested in seeing her in harm's way, basically? Because I'm not. I know she's willing to put herself out there. That's why I didn't care to do that. But I wanted to make a disclaimer for her to hear and everybody else to hear as well about some things because I know what I'm doing or I wouldn't do something like that okay if you didn't know what you were doing you don't deserve the position that you have because you just put her in harm's way with these idiots out here and you have no excuse because you see it on a daily basis on how these people act I don't believe the Bible when it says you know forgive them for they know not what they do. Yeah, you do, because you people always have the cunning ability to shift and pivot and gaslight every time someone points out your degeneracy. That is, it's not lust and like some kind of vibrant uh, renaissance or something. It's absolutely disgusting, hypocritical uh, predation and self-destruction. Fuck you. Thank you very much.